All right, welcome to Talk Investing. I'm Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk about CleanSpark, stock ticker CLSK. They are a Bitcoin mining company. We talk about CleanSpark all the time on this channel. We also talk about all the Bitcoin miners. So if that's content you're interested in, please remember to subscribe to the channel. It does help the channel out a lot. You can also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos, and you can smash the like button. So with all that said, I want to talk about CleanSpark because they put out their monthly operational report yesterday. So there's an awful lot of information in there. I want to go through that. I want to talk about their financial statements. They will be issuing the next quarterly financial statements next week. So I want to talk about that as well. And then, of course, we'll look at a bunch of charts that I keep track of comparing the Bitcoin miners. And then lastly, we will look at the CleanSpark stock chart and take a look at where it's been and where I think it may be going. Okay, so taking a quick look as I'm making this video right now, and this is on Wednesday, you're probably watching this on Thursday, CleanSpark's trading at around $5.64. The market cap somewhere in the $640 million range. We will compare that to other of their peers in the industry as well as to what their market cap has been over the past. So I'm gonna take a look at that later. But first, I wanna start out by digging into their monthly operations report because like I said there is a lot of information here if you enjoy this content and you want to help support this channel we do offer probably the cheapest membership in all of YouTube it's only five dollars a month and members get a lot of benefits we do a once a week members only live stream so in addition to that we have a members only discord and we have a bunch of videos that I make for members only so I try to provide a lot of value for a very little bit of money so it does help support the channel if you're interested you can hit the join button it's right next to the subscribe button on the YouTube page. If you don't see a join button for whatever reason, there should be a link in the pinned comment below. So thank you so much to all existing members for helping keep this channel go on a daily basis and welcome to any new members. Okay, August 2nd, CleanSpark releases July 2023 Bitcoin mining update. Bitcoin holdings doubled to 1,061 Bitcoin. Hash rate hit an all-time high of 9 exahash per second and production increased 17% month over month. So they've been out ahead of their competition, in my opinion, on this matter. CleanSpark was the first company about a year and a half ago to stop hodling and start selling their Bitcoin. I've said all along, I do believe this has given them a massive strategic advantage. It's one of the reasons they've been able to grow so much as a company. They got to dollar cost average out of their Bitcoin. They were selling Bitcoin up when it was around $60,000 and they sold it on a monthly basis all the way down. So a lot of their peers held and held and hodled, and then they had to sell some or all of their Bitcoin at or near Bitcoin's lows around $20,000, some under $20,000. So this was a big strategic advantage. Well, they've been doing that for a year and a half, and now here in July, they have made a massive switch. In the month of July, they hodled the vast majority of what they mined. They've been alluding to this and talking about this. They've been very slowly adding to their hodl position, but here in one month, they basically doubled it. So I think we can expect to see between now and the halving in April of 2024 for this trend to continue. I have been talking about this on the channel for the last four months that I thought CleanSpark would shift their position and start to hodl. They've been indicating that. They haven't really started it until this month, but Clearly, it's kicked in right now. So this gives them the opportunity. They were down to, you know, about 100 or 200 Bitcoin at one point. They're now at 1,000 Bitcoin. If they could get to two or 3,000 Bitcoin by the halving, which is very realistic, that would put them back in a position where they have a very strong hodl of Bitcoin. It would really strengthen up their balance sheet going into the halving. So we're going to have to see what happens. This is just one month, but I do think this is a trend of things to come. Okay, continuing from Zach Bradford, we are now on a journey to nearly double our size to 16 exahash in the next half of the year. So they have the infrastructure identified. They have secured the machines to get to this 16 exahash. So we did talk to Zach on the channel and he felt comfortable that there was a very good chance they would get this done by December 31st. Of course, there's some construction in the middle of that as far as infrastructure goes. So you never know, but it looks like, you know, plus or minus, they're going to get this done somewhere by the end of the year. And if not, I feel pretty strongly they will get this done before the halving and that's getting to 16 exahash so that's my personal opinion and Zach Bradford did express on the channel that he was confident that that would happen okay during this time of rapid growth we will be turning our attention to filling the gaps and optimizing our fleet to further boost our hash rate and efficiency I look forward to providing further insights on our past and future efforts on our earnings call next week okay so getting back to their operation report here Bitcoin mined 575 so 575 Bitcoin mined that's quite a bit more than they mined 
mind in the previous month. It is not their all-time record, but the difficulty level continued to raise in the month of July. So the difficulty is at its all-time record right now. This is their chart of production or mining of Bitcoin over the last year. So this is year over year. You'll see last July, they mined 384 Bitcoin. This July, they mined 575 Bitcoin. So the network difficulty is up significantly. It's much more than doubled over that time, yet they're still increasing their output. So you're gonna see in June, they were at 491 Bitcoin mines. In July, they've gone up to 575 Bitcoin mined. Like I said, this is not their all-time record. They have had a few months that are higher than this. However, I do believe they will be breaking their all-time record sometime in the next two or three months, certainly before the end of the year. So I like their progress here. If we look at their Bitcoin mined by quarter, you're going to see the quarter ended June 30th, which was last month. They were down a little bit. Their all-time record was the previous quarter at 1,871 Bitcoin. They mined over 1,600. Bitcoin last quarter. In the quarter we're in right now, I expect they will beat this number. And in fact, I think that they will beat this number as well and have their best all-time quarter. And that's going to be the quarter ended September 30th, 2023. So that's one of the things I'll be looking for. Obviously, we don't know that yet. This is not financial advice and I don't know the future, but the way things are shaping up, it looks like they have a very good shot of doing that. And then if we go down to this chart, this is their cost per coin over the last year and a half by quarter. So you're gonna see this has fluctuated up and down. I'm not sure why they were so efficient in Q4 of 2022, but for the most part, they've been somewhere between 11 and $13,000. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for. Last quarter, they were just under $12,000. So the difficulty level did increase quite a bit quarter over quarter. So if they can stay somewhere in this neighborhood between twelve dollars and $13,000 cost per coin, we now know that Bitcoin during this quarter has basically been trading somewhere in the twenty-nine dollars to $30,000 range. It did pop up over $31,000 for a little while. So, you know, if they average maybe $29,000 per Bitcoin retail and their costs, their direct costs per coin are somewhere around twelve dollars or $13,000, you'll see that is a very, very healthy gross profit margin. That's gonna throw off a lot of cash for them to pay their overhead. And this is gonna move them towards profitability. I am expecting them to be cash flow positive. I'm also expecting them to have positive EBITDA. And I'm not sure yet whether they're gonna be positive net income from a gap standpoint. Most of these companies are not quite there yet, but most of them are now positive EBITDA and they're certainly cash flow positive. So that's going to be important based on the massive amount of growth they plan on having over the next eight or nine months. So these are a the few of the things I'm looking for. Again, next Wednesday, we are going to get their financial reports. So this cost per coin, we only get to look at once a quarter. That information does not come out on a monthly basis. So that's one of the key items I'm going to be looking at when their financial statements come out next week. So if we look at their previous financial statements, this is for the quarter ended March 31st. So the ones we're going to get next week are for the quarter ended June 30th, 2023. I would like to see them beat every single number on this page. I think they should beat on revenue from their prior quarter. I think they should have a larger gross profit margin. Hopefully they can reduce their overhead. All of those things put together could potentially actually lead to positive operating income, even including depreciation. So there is a chance of that. That would be a home run in my opinion. So we're gonna find that out next week. I will almost certainly make a video based on the information that comes out so that we can review where all of this actually landed. Okay, so the other thing, they mined 575 Bitcoin this month. So if we take a look at June, which is last month, you're gonna see that CleanSpark mined the second most Bitcoin out of all the publicly traded Bitcoin miners. Marathon is way out ahead in first place. CleanSpark is in second. They've been switching between second and third with Riot. I believe they're gonna beat Riot again this month as far as number of Bitcoin mined. We don't have those numbers yet, but by that mark, they have consistently been a top three Bitcoin mining company. If we look at their year to date Bitcoin mine, you'll see they're very close. They're in third place in a very close race with Riot. But I wanna switch over to market cap now. So where we see they're either a second or third place from an operational standpoint, their market cap is down here in seventh place. Now this is as of last Friday. There were some big changes this week. One of the things I wanna mention is they did actually move into sixth place. Terra Wolf had a very, very difficult week. So CleanSpark, as of the time I'm making this, this video has passed Terra Wolf. They are a little bit larger in market cap, but they're still behind Hut, 
Cypher, Bitdeer. So these are companies that they mine a lot more Bitcoin than. Now, this is not the only factor, but I do think that there's a lot of room to the upside when you look at them in sixth or seventh place in market cap versus second or third place in number of Bitcoin mined. The other thing I want to take a look at, this is a simple equation on efficiency. So Queen's Park was in fourth place in June, but they've been in the top four all year long. And it's really just a stone's throw from fourth place to first place. Every way that I look at this, CleanSpark's a very healthy company. I like what they're doing. Okay, so lastly, if I go back to their operational report, you'll see that their current hash rate, they ended the month at 9.0 exahash, but they did add a lot of exahash during the month. So they do give a note, operating hash rate for the month averaged approximately 7.6 exahash. So with that calculation, again, that puts them at about 76 Bitcoin per exahash, which I think is gonna compete for the lead in efficiency in the month of July. Okay, with all that said, now let's take a look at their chart. Okay, so here's where CleanSpark is trading today. So CleanSpark's down about 25% right now off of its July highs. If Bitcoin does retest some lower numbers and CleanSpark follows along with it, that would be maybe an 11% move to the downside. So, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15% move to the downside could be reasonable if Bitcoin does have a pullback over the next days and weeks. But on the flip side, it would be about a 35% increase just to get back to where they were in their July highs. I think they should actually get beyond this. They're a much, much, much bigger company. This green line goes all the way back to August of 2022. You're gonna see CleanSpark is multiples larger than they were at that time. And in August of 2022, Bitcoin was trading at around $25,000. So, you know, I believe it's my opinion that CleanSpark should be way above this line. So I'm not sure exactly, you know, from a time frame standpoint, you know, if they were to run up to $9 from here, and let's say that's an end of the year price target, for the sake of argument, that'd be about a 60% increase from here. So that's very strong. And I do think they could go to points even much higher than this. So these are my short to midterm price targets. This is what I'm looking at them to do prior to the halving. So just last thing I wanna look at real quick, if we get back to where CleanSpark was in March of 2022, and remember by March of 2022, we were in a crypto winter. CleanSpark was trading at around $14. So that's a 151% increase. So I wouldn't take that off the table between now and the halving as well if Bitcoin can have a nice run up between now and then and CleanSpark can get to their 16 exahash. So, you know, that for me right now, I'll leave that as my top price target. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. We don't know where CleanSpark is going, but they seem to be on the right track. I like what I see. So as always, the Bitcoin miners are very, very volatile stocks. They're among the most volatile stocks in the entire stock market. So please be careful. Do your own due diligence. Know your risk tolerance and best of luck trading. So thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far in the the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video.